like the speed of sound We can keep on the ground What's good YouTube? Easy now, 1337 aka Snow here today with another emblem. I'm not very well so I'm only going to be uploading this today and I don't know whether I'll be well enough to do anything tomorrow so bear with me guys. Um, very easy emblem, it's only about 13-14 layers and I was surprised when I realised that nobody had actually made this emblem in Black Ops 2 because it was very popular in Black Ops 1. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into it. It's an 8 ball, a black 8 ball, so go into layer 1. Grab a circle, make it black, and make it a bit smaller this time instead of bigger like we usually do. You want some leeway on the outlines, on the outlines, on the outside. So leave about one block of the grid line on each side if you want. Make it a bit bigger. Totally up to you, but you do want some space around the edges. Duplicate that layer by pressing select or back, moving up and pressing start, and change that to this grey here. Make it a bit smaller. So you got a really thick black outline and sorted. Duplicate that layer and make it this colour here. Make it a bit smaller and place it up in the top left like so. Duplicate layer 2 again and just make this a bit shrink it down and skew it down and to the right and also rotate it at the same time. mess around with that a little bit and let me just change the colour of that so you can see exactly where it is right there and that just leaves a nice little light source in the top left of the 8 ball next you just want to grab layer 1 duplicate it make it bigger bring it down and place it off centered down and to the right like so duplicate it again Change it white, make it a bit smaller. And we can always mess around with that in a second. Let me just move it up a bit. Alright, grab the black one again, make it smaller. Now this time you're gonna do what you've done at the top, but you're gonna do it for the bottom. You can see what I mean. Skew it up and to the left and rotate it. place it about there like so. Now duplicate that layer and change it to the same grey again. And we're just going to move this up and to the left. Make it a bit smaller just so it's got a rounded pointy edge if you know what I mean. And just mess around with it till you get it in a nice position like so. Next, jump in, grab the 8, make it black, make it smaller. Skew it down and to the right so it goes wider as well. Place it about there. And what you do now, duplicate that same layer, make it smaller, and we're just going to do the same thing we just done at the bottom of the 8 ball. But this time, we're just going to change the opacity down a bit so there's a shadow, duplicate it, make it white turn the opacity back up move both these layers down below the 8 by the way and just mess with it until you get something you like simple as that guys going to make it a bit bigger to be honest. Um, like so. And like so, there we go. That looks pretty beast. Now you can add little bits here and there to however you want to make it. But all I done was in the background I just put a blood splatter. Any blood splatter will work. Anything in the back will work to be honest. I find the blood splatter is best. Um, I think I use this one. Get a ruthless in team deathmatch. 15 kills without dying. Um, you could use this one as well. Stick around. Just stretch it out. Bring it down to the back. 
You see, it just, it just makes it look stand out more, but I prefer the other one. Because it just adds a nice sort of splat in the background, like the old splat from Black Ops 1. And you can have it any colour you want. It's totally up to you. It's your emblem, not mine. I just went with white because it just matches the, the sort of um, black and grey and white look. And yeah, so that is the 8 ball, guys, the basic 8 ball. Um, what you want to do then, guys, if you want, you can add your name. You can pretty much do whatever you want to it now because there's all these layers spare. And that's what's so great about this emblem, it's simple, it's small, it looks great on the go and looks great on the player card. And you've got loads of space to do whatever you please, so I hope you enjoyed that guys, please throw a like and a favourite if you enjoyed the easy emblem for a change. Um, go out and check out my videos from yesterday guys, the Cyclops Angry Bird, which is also pretty easy and it looks funny as hell. And um, my question and answer video from two days ago guys, go and check it out. Leave me some questions to answer for next week, please. Um, throw me some voice messages on Xbox. My gamer tag is the same as my YouTube. Funny voice messages, please, that I can put before the videos. And what else? Yeah, Facebook and Twitter, guys. In the video description, you see links to my Facebook and Twitter. Um, you can interact with me on both of them. And you'll also get updates of when my videos are uploaded. So if you miss it out on YouTube because of the sub boxes being broken soon, if you're on my Facebook, if you're on my Twitter, you will always get a notification of when my videos have been uploaded. And I'll talk to you guys on there as well as on the comments on YouTube. So please go and check out the videos from yesterday, guys, and add me on Facebook and Twitter. That's me done for now, though. Peace out. Take care. Uh,